you just can't make this stuff up. So psychic mediums, people who claim to be able to communicate with the dead, are like on the bottom of the list of bottom feeders out there, grief vampires, actually preying on people's emotions, manipulating them, and so on. But right, right there equal to them are those people who claim to be able to solve cold cases and murders and so on. And, uh, you know, you're, it's one thing for people who are grieving over a loss of a loved one, but to be preying on people who are vulnerable because they're in a situation where their loved ones are murdered, uh, police are trying to solve, a, solve something and then they're inundated with messages from psychics or people who have a feeling about something it's just despicable you're you know time is of the essence and to have money wasted time wasted people running around trying to scramble it's just it's just horrendous and i don't know about you but that really bothers me so when one of our grief vampires that we talk about often thomas john uh, the seatbelt psychic guy has tries to get into this business of uh, trying to solve crimes. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is just, you know, you just think they can't go a step too far and then they go a step farther. It's like, hold my beer. Let me show you some stuff here. So let me pull up this, a stream of consciousness, I guess you might say, post that Thomas John did in December 31st, 2022. So at the very end of the year, he posted this, this prediction, I guess, for the Moscow murders. Okay. Now, if you don't know what that is, it was four, four students in Idaho that were murdered in kind of in their sleep, stabbed to death. The, um, it just stunned everybody because it just seemed the, like there was no purpose for it. There was no connection. Um, and it took a very long time for them to find the person responsible. It took months and people were just, it, it was, it was a, it was a crazy time there in um, Idaho. So now we're fast forwarding it to, this is the last day of July in 2023. We have a suspect who is in custody and a trial is about to happen here pretty soon, I guess in a few months. And the person who was, who was being tried is a man being Brian Colbert. And he, they found him, they discovered him. You know, of course he's innocent until proven guilty, but all signs do from what we've seen in the media that he is guilty. They found him through a uh, DNA that was left on an item that was found at the scene. And the DNA led him to a, make some sort of profile uh, and they were able to es extrapolate from there. They were able to uh, figure out this guy who was in the area. He had a car that matched the car that surveillance uh, had seen. His phone was turned off. Um, at a certain point where um, it shouldn't have been turned off and, you know, all these other things. And they were able to do DNA testing and, and so on. So they were able to figure out who this guy was from great police work. And because they were able to, you know, look through these cameras that were, um, you know, on the streets and things like that and DNA and science and great police work. Looks like it may have solved this crime, but no, that, Thomas Todd is going to try to get his, his finger in the pie. Now, I have this screenshot. Like I said, it's a stream of consciousness kind of post from him on December 31st. I don't know if there's any paragraphs in here at all, but I'm going to sum it up a little bit for you and we'll go through it together and let's talk about it as we go. All right. Okay, so I'm not 100% sure that this was posted on his main Facebook page. I'm blocked from everything. He's blocked me from everything. So other people follow him and keep keep 
abreast of what he's going on. And I also have other profiles that follow him as well. And I don't want to reveal which ones they are at the moment. So um, this is posted on the truth about Thomas John psychic medium. And he made this Facebook group uh, because there was so much attention uh, on his um, problems with other people, all women, who were upset at him for not giving them their monies back because he promised them readings and then he doesn't show up. He ghosts, he ghosts them. <laughs> he ghosts them and reschedules them and, and so on. It can go on perpetually. Anyway, so there's been a few Facebook pages out there that are really upset at him and they're constantly posting about about him these are not my facebook pages i am following them but they're there's something else so he started this group called thomas john the truth about thomas john psychic medium and it after a few months it just kind of went he stopped posting on it and now it's pretty much full of spammers and you could leave kind of any post you want on there now nobody's nobody's there to take things off it's like he's he lost, it lost his attention. He's done with it. So I know you're going to try to read all this as I've got it on the screen, but let's just go through it together because like I said, it's just, there's not really much paragraphs in here and it, anyway. So he starts out that, that uh, he has a lot of sympathy for these people. No kidding. He's praying for them every day. Sure. Um, he says, we deal with the death all the time. But this has really been a problem because he sees that he wants to get into this law enforcement kind of thing. He wants to start helping out the police. And this is great. He says, as we know, even the most gifted of mediums and psychics are only about 80 to 90 percent accurate. Right. In their dreams, it's it might be more like eight to nine percent. And if you're Thomas John and you're hot reading somebody, then you're really accurate. You're like 100% accurate because you're reading their social media. So as we know, right? Okay. So as I said, this is a fan uh, group he's supposed to get in. This is not his normal, just regular page. This is like where he goes to to get sympathy from his truest fans who found this Facebook group. I think when psychics become involved with law enforcement, there is quite a bit of a learning curve and we need to learn how to properly work with one another as our processes are very different. Really? Processes? There's there's some processes in there? Wow. Still, I have been an advocate for psychics to become more involved in these cases, especially if they can be utilized in a way that can help the investigation. How about you not, Thomas John? How about you not get involved? No psychic get involved. There's no, there's nothing. Don't, don't just leave the police alone. Leave the grieving parents alone. Let's let them do their job, okay? All right. For those that have closely followed me, you know, I've been talking a lot about the Moscow murders. Well, it's been on the news everywhere, that's for sure. I have multiple dreams, visions, spiritual downloads about this case since it's happened. I don't know what a spiritual download is, and I'm not sure Thomas John knows what a spiritual download is either. I mean, come on now, give me a break. Uh, multiple dreams and visions? Sure, that's possible. This has been in the news all over the place, especially before they found, um, they've um, arrested a suspect. It was really 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 in the news so it's likely if you're following the news quite closely that you would have a dream about it i mean that's just human i did not ask for this information it just came through to me it was so powerful really i actually contacted the law enforcement tip line and an investigator did call me back they took my report but i truly felt they were not hearing or listening to me. Really, you're wasting police time. You're wasting time by calling a tip line. Do you know how many thousands of calls from psychics got went through this line? Probably tens of thousands of calls and multiple times by the same psychics. And they're gonna they gotta log this, they gotta check it out, they gotta it's it's not like they can uh, um, 
you know, tell people not to call in if you're a psychic or you had a dream. I've been told, I don't know if this is true, that um, there may have been, they have to check these out because some people might say, I um, had a vision or a psychic told me this, but actually what they're trying to do is they were involved and they do have real information, but they're using the word psychic so that they're, how do I say this? So they're, so they can kind of sneak in the information. So they're supposed to check everything out. No kidding. The person didn't take you seriously. <laughs> Is Thomas Don Clueless? I mean, does he really believe it? Oh, I, I guess. I don't know. All right. In my guide for 2023, I did predict that the murderer would be caught. Well, no kidding. Of course they're going to be caught. I also mentioned I saw the letter B. That's nice. I saw the letter B. How is finding the letter B going to help? How is that going to help you at all? How? Wow. Hey, police. Hey, police. Um, I'm seeing the letter B. I'm sure they're right on that. Okay. And he says it did turn out to be correct because his first name started with B. His name's Brian. We could, even if he had called him up and said, hey, hey, police, I'm getting a Brian. How would that have helped? Why don't you give him his last name? Why don't you give him his address? Why don't you, I mean, come on, give him his social security number, his driver's license number. Anything but a B? Oh, please. Um, okay. I said he was tall and in his late 20s. That's helpful too. Right? No, it's not helpful at all. Um, he was tall. Tall was relative. And so late 20s. Well, the people who were murdered the people who were murdered were in their 20s. So, you know, that's not not all that far of a leap, considering that people thought it was probably um, uh, tied to some way like a homicide towards uh, maybe one of the women knew was dating a guy or was a college, you know, person in their college classroom that was that did it. So late twenties, mid twenties, that's not all that odd, and that's not a hit anyway. If they're supposed to be looking for a person who's who's tall, whatever tall means um i suppose male and late 20s he doesn't say it was male but um and a b whatever a b means okay i shared many other details when i spoke to the law enforcement a few weeks ago okay many other details why are you not telling us what these many other details are you've already told us it's a guy who's tall in his late 20s and there's a letter b he doesn't even say the letter B has anything to do with the guy's name. He just says it's a B. Could the street he lived on, the city he lives in, the model of the car he drives, is it blue? Okay, all of this turned out to be correct. Really. If it's the quality of the other things you've written in here, I, I find that hard to believe. Well, maybe it was co correct. Uh, was there water nearby? Was there um, a highway nearby, Thomas? What what else was correct? I mean, those are probably correct. So he's saying that he published this in this guide. And I get that guide. And uh, we have from past years. And oh my gosh, you guys, are so many videos I could do. <laughs> and so many articles I write in this guy. Whew. So anyway, he says, so he's saying that he published this in a place before, so he's not, I, I don't know why he thinks this is some valuable information, but okay. So then he says he gets some hate mail from some woman, and it's not me, anti-psychic group that called him a vampire, and that I'm taking advantage of families who are grieving and how much of a sicko I am. Okay, that wasn't me. But, okay, cold cases, I never ask for money. Well, you know what? Most 
psychics don't ask for money from cold cases or for missing persons or other because guess where their the money is is from getting attached to one of these one of these families um or at one of these crime scenes because if he was able to get enough publicity or if he, one of the things that he says is said to be true by the media then you'd ride that ride that publicity into a brand new tv show so you don't need to take money from the families or or a charge of any kind because this is publicity this is publicity gold so uh i'm not buying that and all right okay All right, so we're struggling like when we're struggling like that we're gifted. We need gifted professionals to help us, and being a professional requires you to pay taxes. Blah blah blah. He's making excuses for taking money. If you have a service and you're giving a service and it's it's valuable or even invaluable, if you have a service and you take payment for it and you put out the quality that you say that you're going to put out, that's fine. So if it's one of those kinds of things where somebody says, um, I'm going to get a singing telegram for you um, and they're going to say your name and it's one of these celebrities. Those are fun. Well, is it valuable? Well, I don't know, but they're fun. But if they do it, they should be paid for their services. I will. If you do a job that you say that you're going to do and you paid and you do it in the timeline manner you're supposed to, what's the problem with that? So what he's going to do, he says he intends in 2023 to work on more of these cases. He says he hopes he can gain more closure for families struggling. And those who did email me about their case, I received almost 20,000 emails. That's how vulnerable people are. 20,000? I'm, I'm surprised it's so, so little. People are so desperate and they believe this stuff, these grief vampires, and they're so desperate. There's no entertainment value in this, you people. Not at all. I want to be more involved. I intend to find a way for my colleagues and I to partner with detectives and police officers so we can share our skills with them. Oh, I'm I'm sure the police and the detectives are just right on and just can't wait. They're just like, oh my gosh, probably calling Thomas John and his friends right now. Oh my gosh, they're probably seeing my posts about him and reading the articles and seeing these videos I'm putting up. And, and know exactly where Thomas John, the grief vampire, is coming from. By the way, if you like this video, please, I really would appreciate you subscribing. If you are uh, able to share and comment, I would appreciate that as well. I mean, I, I don't have a problem with asking for help. Okay, now, so how does this pass off? Does he think his, his followers are that stupid? Okay, because I think that's stupid. Somebody puts out the letter B and it's a man in the 20s and he's tall. That's about all he said. He wants to help out. Are his followers that gullible? Because, you know, I have great sympathy for, for sitters. But these aren't sitters. These are the followers. These are people who have the chance to think about what's going on and they have some time and they, they choose to post on his Facebook page. Now, I'm going to show you what they say because... And I'm not going to cover this up at all because there's no reason to these people. It's a public post. So let's take a look at some of the, um, some of the comments from his fans, his big fans about this. Now, remember this is his fans. It's a fan page. So this is a public nest. I mean, it's public, but you have to know about this group. It's, it's not anybody can join it. So let's just run through some of these. Oh, I think it's wonderful. Um, thank you for sharing your gift. Forensics, forensic, a dream, co dream combination of forensic investigators and psychics working together to solve cases. Who wouldn't want that to happen? Name one, one case where a psychic has has helped the police in a way that it was actually helpful. Because uh, I've been waiting and there has not been one. Every time you look into it, they make these claims that we're doing it, but they, you look into it, it, there's nothing happening there. And this woman, Jessica, she says, I guess she got a hold of that calendar that he's talking about. And she says, in the calendar thing, you said there'd be a B 
and a P. So the B is for Brian, according to Jessica, and the P is for Pennsylvania. Right, 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 right. I think you have your validation that you made the right decision to pursue more forensic cases. Wow, just wow, Jessica, you should be ashamed of yourself. I'd like to talk to the teachers who educated you in school because I think you are going, you should, retroactively should be getting Fs on everything that has to do with any kind of thinking. Oh my God. This one says, I'm so sorry that you received hate when you're only trying to help. Okay, let's see. It'd be awesome if you got involved in more of these cases. Many moms and dads need closure. I totally get how they feel. The suspects are still out there breathing our air. Well, they'd be breathing air in jail too. I don't know. Okay, so happy for you. It's amazing to help these families get closure. I don't think she actually read this post because he didn't help anybody get it. This one's saying there he's kind. This one says you're so gifted. And then here's her friend has a medium. And then um, this is your calling. And then here's somebody gives a name of somebody she knows that went missing as a child, unsolved case. And then um, this one had a dozen readings from him, all accurate, better than a computer. Wow. Um, well, let's see here. Here's one that's a five-year-old case, cold case in Toronto. And it has not been solved. People were murdered. Another cold case. Um, you predicted when my husband would receive his heart transplant too. No one could know that. Um, how how predicted did he get? Did he say it'll be the summer? It'll be in the fall? It'll be in 2022? Or did he actually come out with a day? It'll be... Tuesday, the 19th, you know, four o'clock. These, these comments are interesting. Okay, this one says, I provided information, somebody named Katie Schaefer, never heard of her, regarding this case from Portland, Oregon. They didn't follow up. Unfortunately, they didn't follow up because I guess she had the evidence. You were gifted. We're joining up with the law enforcement. I took your mediumship class. Please don't do that. Um, it's, yes, you did mention it in the guide. You kind of wonder what else is in that guide? How much information is in the guide? How many other predictions did he make? Did he just put aside the predictions and just had like this one sentence about the Moscow murders? There's a B, a P, a tall, a man, and, and, um, in his twenties. Is that all he put? Or do you think there's a whole lot of content in there and, we have to sort through all the different stuff in there to see, to get to it. Because, um, I don't know, this is another cold case they have for him. And let's see, you're absolutely amazing. Here's another cold case not being done. Here's another one. I believe you can solve crimes with your gift. It doesn't matter what you believe. April, it's what it really works, what really is happening, not what you believe. And here's another cold case. Here's another cold case and so on. So apparently the true believers are fine with that vague statement he had where he's trying to, to um, glom on to the investigation with the Moscow murders. And he's clinging to the idea that he predicted there would be a B involved. I, I, you guys, this person's out there. He's doing this and he's making so much money. He's got tons of money coming in for that. He's got tons of subscribers. Speaking of subscribers, he's got 22,000 subscribers on his YouTube channel. 22,000. 
So when I ask for a, you to subscribe, I really mean it. Can you please subscribe? Because it's pretty damn embarrassing that this man has 22,000 subscribers. And at the time I'm doing this, I'm not even at 800. So subscribe, please. I'd appreciate that. And hit the little bell so that you can know when I'm notified when I have a video out. Okay, so one other post he made, and I'm going to do this really quick because there's not much to it, is he said this other thing. This is from January, 2023, January 7th. So exactly a week after that last post, he once a month, he's gonna be posting a YouTube video with a psychic channeling session on a cold case. I will be picking from cases that are both high profile and some that are not that my clients submitted. Each video will be about 20, 30, 30, 45 minutes long. And when I get caught up with my schedule, I plan to do them weekly, but I can't right now. They'll be free for the public to use, of course. There's 14 shares, 166 comments. And then people are like going through and giving him all sorts of ideas of uh, cold cases he can come on. Okay, so this is January 7th, right? What do you think's happened since January 7th? So let's go look at his, his um, YouTube Let's go look at his YouTube channel and see what he's put up. Because it says he's going to be posting a YouTube video with a psychic channeling session on cold case. He's going to do that monthly. And then when he gets caught up with his schedule, he's going to start doing it weekly. Okay, so here we are at his YouTube channel, Medium Thomas John. He's got those... 22,000 subscribers. Thank you very much. With only 57 videos. And, you know, you can look at these things and hear it. His uh, pop, most popular video has 120,000 views from five years ago. Uh, wow. Um, I believe this is the one that, um, yeah, this is the one that I have an article about in Skeptical Inquirer. I have not done a video on it yet, but if you, it's about a double blind reading that he did, which wasn't double blinded. We were able to infiltrate and figure out exactly how he was able to get the information. And then this next video has 34,000, 33,000, 29,000. Okay. So this is his uh, live readings, hot topics, psychic story time. Um, live events and so on. So the thing you look for is either under live, because these are these are things that are posted live, which are usually in a different area than videos. Um, this is got two years ago or the most recent. And shorts, there's two of them. Okay, and videos. This is video. This puts them out in order of how they come out. So the most recent one was, he's got 2,000 views on it, 2,500 views, two months ago, All right? So this is, he shares an online reading he's doing with some woman. There she is. And this one was two months ago. He gives a healing reading to a mom of twins. And I've also, I think I've evaluated this on my YouTube channel as well, or parts of it. I've, I've seen so much of this content that after a certain time, you kind of think, oh, if I just watch that like five times or do, a, do I do a video on that one too? Here, nine months ago, which is October. So before he made that uh, claim that he was going to do a, a video once a month, it was this medium astrologer, Maria Shaw. And then before that was September. So there's nothing in here about, uh, from December or from the first of the year, January 7th, 2023, there's nothing in here. Almost nothing's been posted at all about um, solving cold cases where he was going to do once a month. He was going to bring up a, a, something in the news, you know, that's popular or something one of his fans recommends. Nothing. He hasn't done one. Not a one. He was supposed to be going to transitioning to once a week. So I don't know. I don't know if he, he figured out that this is not a good look for somebody to do these kinds of things. 
personally, I think there's a lot of TV shows um, or, you know, and networks are looking for some sort of say celebrity that they want to promote. They don't pick somebody who's been doing um, these kind of, this kind of um, cold case um, solving of mysteries. They don't like that because if it, the person is, well, first off, it looks like you're victimizing, re-victim, victimizing and preying on the family. And then you're, uh, there's a lot of criticism about wasting police, police time and money. Um, and also if the case is, is, um, actually solved later on, uh, as Sylvia Brown found out that, and it had, it doesn't, you weren't right while well, you've already made a prediction and it's high profile. So they don't really like that. So he may have figured this out that you, it's not a good idea to do this. If you're hoping to get a TV show here or be become some famous celebrity psychic. So I think that either that you, you figured out it's a lot more trouble than it's worth to go into um, solving these things or He's just so busy trying to give refunds to all these women. There's thousands of women out there who are asking for refunds and very rarely getting them. He has to mail a check to people's houses now. That's where we're at with Thomas Tond. He's got people have to get checks written to them. It's pretty, I kid you not, he's no longer able to use PayPal. So anyway, that's where we stand. It's pretty awful. Uh, this is part of the reason why he's called a grief vampire because he's preying on these people. And um, I remember a couple of these, you know, celebrity, I hate to even call them celebrity, but famous, famous fathers who had a murdered child. What was it? Adam Welsh. And there was another one. I can't think of that. They had that America's Most Wanted or um, program, they had a, um, would put out often, they would say that advice, if you have a child that's missing or a family member is missing or there's a murder or whatever, they would reach out to and say, hey, don't take any advice from any psychic. They're going to be all over you. And it's, um, I know it's going to feel like you want an answer and you're going to feel so vulnerable that you may be tempted into wanting to do it. But you're going to get tens of thousands of people who are psych who claim to be psychic to solve your case, even if they say they're going to do it for free. Just don't have anything to do with it. Yeah, I think it was Adam Walsh that came out with a statement on his website about that. I don't want to have the to look for it right this second, but um, I've heard this from other kinds of um, police agencies and uh, people who have experience in this area that it's just it's just awful. They they're all trying to to get their 15 minutes of fame. If they throw out enough stuff at the wall and something hits and the media picks up on it, then like I said, they they could ride that to the bank with a TV show or a book deal or who knows what. Um, so even if they think they're helping, maybe they do have a strong emotion. They had a dream and they felt like it was really real. Hold it, keep it to yourself. Put in your dream journal or something, but don't don't call the police. Don't try to get a hold of the family. Yeah, we do kind of get involved in some of these true crime stories. It is probably something to some people it could weigh on their mind and be one of those things that they really feel involved in and maybe they're helping. You're not. So please don't. Please just don't. No, please don't. Thomas John knows better. He should know better. And then to publicly put out that he's going to start doing these cold case crimes. And he says he gets 22,000. 22,000 really, I don't know. We'll see. But the point is, you haven't done one. And then it's already tomorrow, August. So we're eight, eight videos. or eight videos in. I'm dying for you to do them so I can analyze them. But no, actually, I'm not. He doesn't have to do this. It's, it would just be praying on people. Anyway, thank you guys. Please like, please share, please comment. Oh my gosh. If you don't have a, a psychic aerosol of crime, I mean, actually like helped, let me know. 
You know, I've been looking into it for a long time and I have a lot of other friends in the skeptic community have been looking for it. We haven't found anything that was helpful. After the fact, they might retrofit some of the things that they said and say it was helpful, but no. And we, we have heard from people say, oh, I help, saw, I help the police all the time. I can't tell you any of the cases. And no, they don't, they don't mention it because the police don't mention that kind of stuff. They don't want, they don't want me to know. Chip Coffee, I can remember him saying, oh, he doesn't do this kind of work because then, then he might be attacked or his family might be attacked by somebody who's committed a crime who'd be worried that he would, he would reveal the information. So a little coward, you know, <laughs> come on, solve one. I'm sure if you can contact the dead and, and solve the case, I think the government would probably take good care of you because that would be like powerful. And um, I don't think uh, you've done any and I don't think you can. So prove me wrong. Let's see. I'll be waiting. You know how to get a hold of me. You're a psychic.